good cloudy morning. It's cloudy and the rain is on the way. Supposed to rain most of the day today. Most likely, I think the radar showed around one or two o'clock and um, it looks like downpours. It looks pretty, pretty rough. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll check the rain gauge later and, and see. But I was just going to show you the Wood pile is dwindling. Been working on putting it in the woodshed. I've got two more tiers left. And then that will be done. And then Scott's been working on sawing up our pile over here. He's officially now, I think, got more um, wood sawed up than he has not. So... He's over the hump. <laughs> yeah. And I can hear the rain coming already. I can hear it sprinkling. I was hoping I'd be able to get a little coffee into me and get out here and do get some of these sawed up pieces and split them, but I don't think so because I can hear it. I can hear it coming. <laughs> So I guess that's not going to happen today, or at least not this morning. So I have a few videos to edit. This would be a good morning to do that. Grab a cup of coffee and play around with some videos that I have. And uh, we'll have to pick this up later, I guess. I just noticed that Scott's window was down on his truck. That was my fault. We went out yesterday for a, a few minutes and ah, <laughs> I left it down. I guess I better put it back up before. I'm glad it didn't start raining before um, I got out here. But it is starting, starting to come down a little bit. Yeah, my pile's dwindling down. I mean, all that dark spot was all firewood a big mound of it and now it's dwindled down to just that little bit but that little bit i think will go over here in the woodshed and i'll show you i think at least it'll do a tier and a half it takes about depends on how big you make the bucket loads but it takes about four and a half to five buckets to fill a tier. So we may get a tier and a half out of that. But that wood that we have uh, sawed up, once I split, it's already dry pretty much. Once I split it and just get some air to it, it should be fine. But there's two tiers in there and we can fit two more. I gotta put my pallet down and, make, and cut one for over here. And then it will be up off the ground. You can get airflow under it. Keeps it dry and not freezing to the ground when you get rain it freezes. And this one's just about, there's a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit there that needs to be done, but not much. But yeah, that side's all full. Four tiers in there. And then the two tiers here and we'll put two more. And that'll be full. And then we throw the rest in the basement for those days when, you know, if it's if it's icy or really crappy or um, we just don't want to go outside because it's cold. We can uh, just run downstairs and grab a load. And it's nice and dry down there, of course. So that works pretty good. So, 
pretty happy about that. I'm hoping to have our firewood in and done really soon. I want to show you the, the turkeys and babies, but I don't think I can turn this thing around. So I'm just going to have to try and do it, do it this way. They're eating their food. Jackie, you want to come out? You coming out? Oh. We're still eating. We're still eating. What's happening? What is going on, Yed? So, the first day that I had them out running loose, they followed the bigs uh, into the coop, well, into the run, and there's a door into the shed from there, and <laughs> they followed the the big chickens right in there and I came out to check on them to see you know if they were going to go in their coop because I didn't see them in the little coop and they weren't in there I was like where are they and I went in the the big coop and they were in there on a roost all of them snuggled together just as happy as could be What are you guys gonna do when it rains today? Huh? You gonna find a nice spot? Well, anyway, I'm going in to have my coffee. These guys are all fed and everything's open so they can get in wherever they need to to get out of the rain. So I'm going to go in and have my coffee and do some editing and make some kind of yummy breakfast this morning. So anyway, we'll see you in a little bit. So we got about an inch and a quarter of rain by the looks. So we got a little bit of rain. That's good. We kind of needed it. So the sun's out, beautiful blue sky. We're getting some charge on the old solar panels. So that's also good. I got chickens eating some food. Everybody's happy to be out and about. Anyway, so yeah, it's the next day. I stayed in yesterday and did some editing. And, you know, I often wonder why I come out here and do videos first thing in the morning <laughs> when I'm not awake. And I'm like trying to talk to people and I just look like a zombie. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not. But um, yeah, today I waited till after I had my coffee before I came out and started videoing. But sometimes, you know, you just gotta come out and do stuff and talk and, and say what you want to say before coffee and doesn't always look good or make sense, but it is what it is. <laughs> So, um, 
yeah. So let's see. I did some editing yesterday. Um, I worked on the hashtag Harvest Moon giveaway video, and that's up and going. And uh, working on my garden stuff, my um, onions, which I'll insert a picture, uh, are all dry. The chops were all dry, so I cut those off and um, saved some for you know future use. I have an, I had an onion bag or two that I saved, and I stuck them in the in the onion bags and hung those in the stairwell to the basement. And I'll just keep watch of those because I don't want them to rot. Uh, what else did I do? I cut some up and put them in a freezer bag for the freezer. So for a quick just grab and go, um, you know, if I'm making something and I don't want to cut up onions. And so I did that. I cut up some green peppers. Uh, I picked, uh, I don't know, four or five of them out of the garden after it stopped raining yesterday afternoon. So I did that. Um, trying to think of what else I did. I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, I split some firewood. I did about four or five buckets of firewood. I should remember that because I still feel it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I'll show you my little pile. It's not very big for the soreness that I have, but that's all right, I'll show you. All right, there's my little pile. So I threw it back on that piece of uh, lawn that was already dead, so. And that's the old one, the one that's already dried up. And uh, I'll be able to come in and get that with the tractor, come in from the front load it in the bucket and take it over to the shed and then this one uh we'll let it sit for a little while but they were pretty well dried pieces but in comparison i mean it doesn't look like a super huge pile but uh, i th i think it was five buckets but it may have been four i lost track um I sometimes keep track just to see how much I do when I do it, but um, yeah, I think I lost track. But anyway, four or five, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, a little bit sore today from that. It's always a, a job. I really enjoy it though. It's good exercise and um, I usually put my earbuds in and listen to tunes and just kind of tune out the world and everything else and just just uh, split wood and I think about the winter when it's cold and you if you've never done firewood and you are doing firewood and you're splitting a piece I'm trying to figure out how to say this so that you'd understand. You recognize that piece. Say it's got a little bend in it, a little dip in it, a little, a funny little design on it. You'll remember that piece. See that little one? It's got like a dip in it right here. I may remember that this winter when I'm bringing in wood and go, huh, I remember talking about that in the video in September and um, now I'm going to burn it in the wood stove to keep me warm in the middle of December, January, February, March, could be April, <laughs> who knows, <laughs> uh, let's hope not May, but you never know, um, but yeah, you remember certain pieces, and, uh, it's kind of funny to think, because you're like, well, it's wood, it's all the same thing and it's it's different when you're handling it when you're cutting it when you're picking it up putting it in the bucket when you're taking it out of the bucket to split it when you're taking it out of the pile to put it in the bucket and taking it out of the bucket to stack it and then bringing it in and putting it in the stove 
it's a process and it is a good process, but it's, you remember them. It's kind of funny, but I don't know. I think I'm rambling about, <laughs> I think I'm rambling about firewood, but yeah, anyway. That pretty little sunflower. It's just a little bugger, a couple feet tall, but it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. I got a glad here. Got one hanging down from the rain. A little raindrops on it. So pretty. Hopefully when the sun comes out, it will stand up. Went through and trimmed some of my, my cucumbers because they were looking pretty bad. Look at that, it's got a little cucumber on it right here. That's a little cukey right there. Oh no, turkey, you cannot come in my garden. No, no, turk, turk. No, no, turk, turk. Turkey wants to come in. Here we go. A little cucumber on the roof of my trellis. That's a pretty good size cukey. Pretty good. Most of them are getting deformed now. Oh boy. I got everybody wanting to come in. You guys can't come in here. No coming in the garden. Somebody already came in and ate my leaves mm. off my broccoli. The door got blown open. We had some wind. And I didn't realize it, but the chickens knew. Little stinkers. But, got some broccoli heads there. Little ones. Oh, and there's one there too. That's awesome. But yeah, I trimmed my cucumbers down a little bit. The uh, squash bugs are getting at them pretty good. Oh, all right. So I guess we've decided to lay down in front of the door and have a nap. That turkey's got its head tucked right under its wings and sleeping away. I'm gonna pick some of these today because I think my daughter's coming. We're gonna make some salsa. So we'll let you know how that goes, making salsa with these. Oh, this one's split. Split. But yeah, I'm gonna come out and pick some and add to our bunch. I um, watched a video from Bumblebee Junction. Tina made some easy salsa and she showed her recipe and I was able to screenshot it. Thank you, Tina. And because I have one, but it's a little more complicated and um, she didn't even peel her. She had Roma tomatoes, I believe, and she didn't even peel them. And I don't know as I'm going to need to peel these these little guys so hey guys is that really a good nap spot i think you find a better spot you're silly look at this sleepy little turkey oh you're so sleepy oh you're so sleepy that's eddie My husband named the two turkeys, Brenda and Eddie. Yep, yeah, the girls, the turkeys are Brenda and Eddie because I think they're a boy and a girl. I haven't seen a beard on Eddie yet, but I wasn't too sure on the name because we got Yeti, the rooster, and then Eddie, the turkey, but 
I think if I pronounce it Eddie and Yeti, <laughs> it should work. Where'd you go? There you are. Where's your girlfriend? I tried to get a picture of him. Uh, I tried to get a picture of him the other day. They were laying on the step together facing each other and they had their necks kind of wrapped around each other like they were kind of snuggling it was pretty cute it was pretty cute but I tried to get my phone before they you know move but then as soon as they saw me move they were like what are you doing and they had to move so oh well All right, well, I'm gonna go clean the coop and get that done before my granddaughter comes so we can make salsa. Oh, well, I thought I'd just sit down and have some water and wait for my granddaughter and daughter to show up. And uh, I just wanted to say um, after this uh, harvest moon, giveaway video came out. Um, I've had a bunch of new people, subscribers join our channel and I really appreciate that. I just want everybody to know. Um, I've chatted with a few of you and it's been pretty fun um, and to learn of the different places where everybody's come from. I'm like uh, all over the country. It's really neat to um, see what's going on in different parts of the country. Uh, and um, I just really appreciate people subscribing. You didn't have to, um, but I'm really glad you did, and I hope that you enjoy the channel. Um, you know, we bring you what we do. Sometimes it isn't all that fascinating or exciting. Uh, it's just things that we do around here, and um, you know, we have such a nice relaxing life most of the time um, and we just want to protrude that I guess through the camera to you so that you can sit back and after a, if you have a long hard day that you want to sit back and relax and and watch uh, something fairly relaxing <laughs> so even if it's somebody else working I mean come on <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody for coming over and I'm excited to, to give away the, uh, the grain sack table tray that I made. Um, and I never thought, you know, if the person that won mine, um, on my channel, um, if you happen to win, hopefully that would be really great if you happen to win the whole shebang over at uh, Off Kilter Homestead, uh, I will send something different. It'll still be something that I made, um, but I'll send something different so that you don't have two tabletops, unless you want two tabletops. I mean, maybe you have two tables, one for outside, one for inside, one for the countertop, one for the island. I don't know. But anyway, we'll chat. If you win, let's hope you do. Um, we will... Uh, We'll figure it out. I'm still trying to figure out the live thing. Supposedly, I'm not supposed to be able to go live if I have under a thousand subscribers. Um, I guess I'm just gonna keep on checking that out. I think I can do an external uh, live that kind of comes in on the YouTube part. I've been looking up on that stuff. Thanks to YouTube, I've been able to find out a little bit about that. So, um, I'm going to try tonight to see if I can get on there and see if I can get uh, the, the part set up where I need to notify you guys so that I, there's like a kind of a countdown of when I'll be live, um, if I can get it to work. So anyway, so we'll try it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, keep checking back and um, again, thank you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.